Have you ever wanted to pull your hair back but still wanted it to look good and professional? A bun is the perfect solution for this problem. According to All Things Hair, the bun is the perfect hairstyle for any event from going to the gym to a corporate event. As you all know, I'm on the AL dance team and I also dance outside of school, so we do buns for almost all of our performances and events, so I've really mastered this style. This Doing a bun is a simple and easy process and I'm sure after this quick how-to on doing a bun you could all recreate it. Today we'll be going over the materials you need, the steps to do it, and how it benefits yourself or society. Now let's get into the materials and to create the perfect bun. First, you'll need a brush or a comb to get all the tangles out of your hair. Then you'll need a spray bottle with water and hair ties and gel to smooth back all of your hairs. Now these are the bare necessities to doing a bun. But I like, for dance, I like to use a smoothing brush to keep all my hair back. And then I also like to use corkscrew and Amish bobby pins along with just normal bobby pins. According to stylecraze.com, once you bind your hair with the corkscrew bobby pins, it won't move an inch. Now, of course, you can just do a bun with a hair tie and make it simple, but to create the slick back look we're going for, I would recommend using any of these other products. The last product you'll need to use is hairspray. Now that we've gone over all the materials, let's get into the steps on how to do it. The first thing you'll need to do is brush your hair to get all the knots and tangles out. Then, I spray my hair back with water and using my hands, gather it all off the back of my head. After it's gathered, I use the gel to smooth it all back and then I secure it with a hair tie. After it's secured in a tight low pony, I twist my hair around and start wrapping it around the ponytail. After all the length of my hair is wrapped, I usually spray it with water and use more gel to keep all the smaller hairs tucked in. After it's all smoothed down, I tie it securely with a ponytail. Next, I use the corkscrew bobby pins to twist them into the hair of the bun with the hair of the ponytail. This keeps the bun tightly secured to your head. After that, I use the Amish bobby pins to secure any other gaps that may be between the bun and your head. After that, I use regular bobby pins to smooth down any bumps that may have happened when pinning in the bun. The final step is to spray it all down with hairspray. Putting your hair in a, in a bun could have many benefits to you. First, you can use a simple bun for a messy hair day look for work or you could use it to go to the gym, keep all your hair back during your workout. You could also use um, more stylish bobby pins with pearls or flowers on them to create a more dressy look for a wedding or any other formal event. Slick back hairstyles are trending right now and you could use this tutorial or modify it a little bit to create a cute slick back trendy hair look. Not only does knowing how to do a bun benefit your style, but it also is healthy for your hair. According to glowhabits.com, washing your hair every day or using heat to style it every day is not healthy for your hair and is not recommended by hairstylists. So going one day without washing your hair and easily throwing it into a bun could help the oils in your hair soak into your hair follicles and could also be healthier for your hair health. The natural oils that your hair produces will also help keep the bun secure and tight in all day long. Now that we have gone over the materials you need, the steps on how to do it, and the benefits that come from knowing how to do a bun, I hope you think about this tutorial the next time you want a cute slick back hairstyle and are all out of ideas. This is a great style and could be tight and professional or loose and laid back. But however you decide to do your bun, I hope that you, this tutorial helped you get started on it. Thank you.